It's showtime. Hey everyone, Django Fett here, Underdown Games, Comics, TV Shows, Movies, and more, and this is a review for Star Wars The Complete Saga, Episodes 1 through 6, Omnibus. So this is the last prequel review I'm going to focus on before I actually get into the prequels themselves, prequel movies. So for this particular review, I will be focusing on Episodes 1 through 3, the comics, and not 4 through 6. Maybe at a later date I will get to those, but for now, uh, just going to be reviewing like half of this book. So you'll also notice the cover is actually a backdrop poster for my Funko Pops, which is great, and where I talk about Star Wars stuff for my videos. But I have to say the EU version, which I would kill for, is even better. But for all I know, it does not exist. It was just for the Comic Companions Volume 2 book, but that's about it. Now enough of that rant, let's read the back of this book and get into each individual story. The comics adaptations of the complete Star Wars film saga in one volume, from Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi's fateful encounter with Darth Maul, to Luke Skywalker's victory over the Sith and Darth Vader's redemption, it's all here. This 600-page volume includes redrawn or remastered versions of the adaptations of the special editions, and the list of writers and artists involved reads like a who's who of comic greatness. This is a true collector's package. This reads like a freaking uh, newspaper article headline or something. <laughs> Not the greatest description, but you do get the gist of it. So first up is episode one, The Phantom Menace, which is written by Henry Gilroy and penciled by Rodolfo Dinaggio. This is just a cut and paste version of Phantom Menace, enough said. With some of the most boring and saddest artwork I've seen yet, nothing grabbed my attention anywhere in this story and easily the worst of the prequel bunch. Now this omnibus does not include the varied covers, but I will say the actual covers are actually a lot better and probably more a of a collector's item, I would say. Uh, Hugh Fleming did the covers and they're actually pretty good, if not great. Also, for some reason, there was like a, a mini paperback version, almost like a manga style, which was really weird and a stupid decision choice to make. I've never seen something like that before. And I will say the story has some slight differences here and there, but nothing out of the ordinary. This is just a cut and paste version of Phantom Menace. And if you're looking for that, you'll find it here, which is not a bad thing. That's what we want. But there was nothing that differentiated the this story from compared to the other stories, which I will be talking about now. Moving on, we have Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. This one is written by Henry Gilroy once again, but this time drawn by the renowned Jan Derisma, which is awesome. And as you can expect, grabbed my attention immediately and kept me into it. Now, I will say this is not Jan's best work compared to her later on work with Republic and Legacy series, but when you see what we got before with Episode 1, I'm more than appreciative. Now what I thought was neat in this comic in particular was they actually showed the deleted scenes in the movie to the comic. For instance, before seeing Dex, Obi-Wan goes to the, the Jedi robot things, archives or whatever, to get the analysis of the dart that was shot to kill Zam Wessel. That's a deleted scene. I just never thought a comic would bring deleted scenes to life. But it does, and I think that's just a really cool and neat thing. I've never seen that before. Another interesting fact is that the cover for the paperback was originally commissioned to be illustrated by artist Sunio Sanada, forgive me, before Dark Horse decided to use the movie poster. Sunio's art was recycled and displayed as an alternate cover for Star Wars Tales number 12, which is pretty unimpressive if you look at it. I'm showing a picture right now. Yeah, I can see why. But what is not unimpressive is the actual covers for the issues, the individual issues. So Neo did do those, which are absolutely stellar and blow episodes ones out of the water. True collector's items that I would recommend getting in a heartbeat. Now, there were some errors in the book itself. For instance, Jango Fett being super close to kill Zam Wessel with the dart, killing Tuskins in what looked like daytime instead of night, and a few others. There's honestly not too many bad things with the episode 2 comic and really captured the source material and the fight scenes with Anakin's rage at the Tuskens uh, more so than the film could. And finally the last one is episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. This one is written by Miles Lane and drawn by Douglas Wheatley. And this one is definitely the best by far. It has a great story with 
many inconsistencies, I would say, and errors. But I also have to say it has the best artwork with Douglas Wheatley doing it. And Wheatley has been involved with many great works like Dark Times and Republic series. I honestly like the different take and differences. It, it just felt like Miles Lane was totally unaware of the story itself. Like Voss's death, which never happened to Voss in the EU as he came back from Kashuk. I honestly just felt more into the story than the actual movie. And that's tough for adaptations to ever do. Only rarely does it ever actually work out. So I am giving Star Wars The Complete Saga Episodes 1-3 through 3, Omnibus a Even though this is an incomplete book review, you're getting six amazing stories into one. You can't beat that deal. So I would like to display the prices right now on Amazon. It is selling right here. And on eBay, it's selling for this price. These are the current prices as I am editing this video, and that's it. So that is the last prequel review I want to focus on, the omnibus itself. If you have read this book, let me know in the comment section, and let me know your thoughts of the prequels themselves in particular. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel Django Fett if you haven't already for more Star Wars content. And next we have the Star Wars prequels will be starting very soon. So I can't wait to get into that, and I'll see you guys on the next prequel review. Peace.